That was terrible. <laughs> I think uh I think maybe one more one more case. Address is six West Second Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Wait, what are we doing? Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Why are all these cars honking? Who are they honking at? They're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What's the case? You hear whether they're making any progress? Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. I, I'm definitely into the soundtrack of this game. Three. That's the car call. Just pulling out. Oh shit! What? Okay. Chase him. Remember, Whee! keep him healthy enough to answer questions. Okay, so don't blow his brains out. Let's do wheel arches. Come on. Hey, fuck you, dickbag. Die. <laughs> Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I mean, I'm trying, pal. Yeah. All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Give get, get LAPD. the fuck Wait, out of the car. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking <laughs> about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Then why did you run? <laughs> I mean, but we just slammed, like, we just T-boned his brand new car that he bought. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And the ownership papers? from the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Hmm. So we just ruined a car that a guy legitimately purchased because it was the same color and model as a different car. Well, yeah, why? Oh, right. A criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. Okay. You expect us to believe you. Is that so much to ask? I did believe him. <laughs> okay. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. I ask you, is that the sweater vest, short sleeve shirt, and tie combo of a dishonest man? <laughs> you know, I didn't even notice the tie until you pointed it out. It's like the tie... And the collar, like, you know, it's, I, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, wait, what did you say, pal? I'm just going to assume you're telling the truth. He made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You've got to be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for grand theft auto. Right, detective. Damn. Do you know who my father is? Do you know who my father is? Auto and check out Harrison's wonder who story. his father is. You know the way. You can drive. So, where do you want to go? What? I think he's telling the truth. <laughs> Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. 
Usually they're called politicians. Oh, that's that's a spicy that's spicy commentary. You know, that's good satire. Who's the president right now? Truman? If it's 1947? Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Please. Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white for Coom. us? Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. Coom. A man by the name of Mr. Coom. Mr. bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coe. Hmm. I remember him. You're under arrest. a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. This guy's on coke. <laughs> That's a joke, too, son. <laughs> well, do you mind if I shoot this guy? <laughs> Mr. Coomer. There's actually like a tear forming in the corner of my eye at the absurdity of this man. I look for the ideal customer, son, and you ain't halfway dumb enough. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Okay. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. 46 North Fremont Avenue. Gene Archer. Okay. Trace address for Marquee Printing. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? The girl just wandered in right off the street. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Snotters. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Hmm. I'm going to press him. So this dizzy broad walks in here off the street and sells you a two-year-old car for half the price and you don't ask any questions. I'd say that about sums it up nicely. Damn. <laughs> you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Press him. These pink slips are leading us to something big, Coons. It's time to stop being cute. I'm going to assume you're having a bad day, son. I sell cars, not paper. <laughs> when exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Okay, yeah, he's definitely lying now. Now we press. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> Do I have evidence for this? I mean, is the stolen vehicle like You're lying, Coons. You knew the car was stolen. 
You have some sort of crystal ball <laughs> shit. jacket that can help you prove it? I think I fucked up. I'm gonna go for it anyways. You should try running <laughs> hard head of yours. Are we done here? Yeah, I am a pretty terrible cop. We get awful attentive to people who obstruct LAPD investigations. <laughs> I love how any time that I fuck up the questions, like it always turns really well, hostile, like at the point, end. But we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Eh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, hey, hey! What the hell are you doing? A hand grenade and a barrel of oatmeal. Oh wait, that's my partner. Get in. I like to think it felt. Baby. Solid evidence. Oh, this is a tank, Phelps. Here's a chicken and egg question. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? <laughs> You've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and just like reverse forward, reverse forward. Oh wait, shit, this is my turn. Look out. <laughs> Alright, nailed it. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Whee! Oh, 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 look out, look out. Oh, shit. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to Crummy bastard. I want to put him down a James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Is that logic? <laughs> it's fucking logic, the rapper. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Someone gonna tell us what the hell is going on? <laughs> Where were you taking the car? <laughs> Dude, it's Blow logic. It off, <laughs> I mean, he's he's talking smack to me. I'm gonna put the pressure on him. I'm not fucking around. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Velasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. But the paperwork they provide is normally a breeze. Okay. What happens to the cars once they cross Yeah, the <laughs> you folded like a motherfucker, dude. Just deliver them. Uh, do I have any... I, I'm just gonna press him again, I think. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cell and tell the whole station you're a child molester. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. <laughs> Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East Downtown. An address, Velasco. <laughs> you want help with the DA? Cough it up. Just now. be mean to this guy. On Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of it. Uh. Okay. Well, now 
I'm gonna put the evidence on the table. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. As soon as you get tired of Damn it, the man. Like, knowing what evidence right, to good. use to, like, accuse them is, like, it's so awkward, you know? If it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're I mean, it's like, hey, work. there was another so car that was that. stolen, and it was flipped by someone, and the check was made out you're to Gene balance, Archer. Right? Yes, I am. Like, obviously, Look, this Gene Archer right person, I, right? yeah, I don't know. I should have just doubted again. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. Your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253. Whoa, Gene Archer. Spotted. Okay, let's go and find fucking Gene Archer. Yeah, it's this one, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, current destination, yeah. Come on, we don't want to lose her. You're behind the wheel. Yeah, fast travel me there, baby. Am I winning? I'm having fun. So, yes. <sighs> yeah, tell me about the new car. The was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Buster. That is true. Just tell me why you sold the car. You're sweet. You really are. Just get the fuck out of my way. Uh, okay. Whoops. How long have you and Belasco? <laughs> Who is James Belasco? Yeah, I didn't say James. I mean, that's pressure. He's your boyfriend. He's the guy you boost cars with. He gave you up. He thinks you're so dumb you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so cruel? Why are you so cruel? You decided to make this What? <laughs> Zero out of two. Out of Damn it, man. No way. <laughs> And she gets arrested anyways. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't matter at all. It's him. The cop from the tape. That's good police work, yeah. But with my opinion against thousands of others. I just work here. Nailed it, bro. <laughs> You're dumb as hell. I might be dumb, but I'm doing my best. You're under arrest. <laughs> oh my god, why is the NPC reversing? Dude, the NPC, like, when the NPCs drive the car for you, they drive like fucking crazy, man. Come on, Cole, oh my god. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I tried to talk to him. I just walked up to him and press X to talk to him. <laughs> Dude, no way. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I mean, no, no, no. I, I don't even need to investigate the office. I'm just going to press him. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightbulb. Uh, uh, Mr. Lightbulb. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Press him. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. 
A number of used car lots are selling blank documents to a criminal organization. <laughs> do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. No, they do not. Mm, oh, he oh he looked to the side. Press him. <laughs> Harrison bought his car from Coons. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think of it, the name Coons sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. I'm a cop. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. <laughs> this really is irregular. Over here. He's like, do you have a warrant? I'm like, I have a gun. Look for patterns, referring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Ugh, oh, Jesus. I mean, it's always on page two, right? Er, okay, if we can turn the page, it's probably gonna be, like, like on, on the last page somewhere. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, Industrial Street. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightbulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Okay, cool. Nailed it. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Okay. Peace. Oh! The drive rock! <laughs> yes. Alright, look out, motherfuckers! Oh shit! Oh no! Okay, here we go, here we go. I knew I should have driven. Oh look out! Oh man, I'm coming through, bitch! Watch it! Ooh! Ooh! Thank you. Look out, motherfucker! Ooh, shit! I'm driving the truck. I'm driving the big truck. Oh, shit! Oh, that guy almost died. <laughs> Oh man, traffic. Oh, look out! Nice. Screw, screw! Oh, damn. Nailed it. I'm really good at this. I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. The flesh are down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45, mm. don't you ever want to use it? This guy's it? about to get shot. I'll take the back. <laughs> Give me a few seconds to get around there. It's like, I don't know, I think we should call for backup. And it's like, backup? We don't need backup. It's like, that that guy's gonna die. Cole Phelps. 
cops, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. God damn, okay. Oh wait, is this like Hitman? Can I make this thing fall? <laughs> okay, no, I've been playing too much Hitman. I'm like, oh cool, environment kill. It's not that game. Oh wait, but there is an explosive barrel right there. Holy shit. Who, who the fuck is you? I just threw the gun on the ground. Oh shit! There they are. Sure to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Okay. Was it this? Marquee Printing Company. Nothing like going direct to the source. What's this? Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightball. Ooh, has been gambling debts. We've got a trail of pink slips okay. and stolen cars that lead right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck. I look so weird without a hat. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. Ballad of the Bulge. <laughs> we know about Marky Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink stuff to resell them. There's no problem. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. Okay, okay, the tough guy. Light bulb. The guy who runs Marquee. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes me. Mm. Light bulb. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One of the guys lying over there. Oh, that's a fucking lie. Right. There's no luck. I mean... So if I go over there and check his jacket, your story's gonna ring true? Warning you, Bigelow. Yeah, bad cop. Give it a try, Flatfoot. For some reason, none of my guys like to bring ID to work. No? Damn it. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I mean, as well, I you know, we know who Lightbow we'll is. <laughs> I didn't fire a shot, copper. I just watched you tear my place up. You're under arrest. Fuck you anyways. <laughs> okay, so what now? Yes, I'm gonna tell up on Marquee Road, New York. And 
I mean, honestly, I, I have been fucking up this case, like, really bad. It's, uh... I mean, I feel like I am missing out on, like, some critical details, because I blew some of the interrogations so fucking hard. Oh yeah, drive us there in the big truck. You're behind the wheel. <laughs> Did anything good happen in the last few minutes? Uh, I mean, I just I just fucked up more questions basically, but aside from that, no, not really. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, light bulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Save it, light bulb. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, light bulb. I agree. I have a small, small problem. problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need you need to shut up now, Lightball. Oh, Lord, Lightball! I'm charging you with conspiracy nice. and fraud. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Biatch. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from more the scene. More than a dozen? The LAPD sustained no casualties. There were... Damn fine work, Phelps. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? There might have been guys, over a dozen. I want to finish reading this. I blew up a few of them at the same time with the explosive tank thing. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a lot of damage. 